Hey guys, how's it been going? This is Jason. This video is gonna be very short. Uh, I'm just to introduce some HTML uh, attribute. Uh, let's take a look at the demo. Here is uh, the iOS simulator. Here's an input. Its placeholder is Hello World, nothing else. Let's focus on it. And we can see we have a virtual keyboard and we have this return, right? So sometimes we like to, like say, when I tap the return, I need to do something, so I want to change the text of this enter key. So actually, it's not impossible. It's not possible, but actually, there we could change it to some predefined values. That is, that is this uh, enter key hint. If we change it to go, let's see what it is now. It will become go, yay! And there is some other values like uh, search. Does it work? Yeah, you can see it's search. And there's another one is uh, done. It's not done. Pretty cool, huh? But we cannot change it to any text. If any text, like hello, it won't work. It won't be the default return. Yeah. The nice part is that uh, this is uh, for English keyboard. Let's change it to Japanese. You can see that this is default return, but if I change to uh, go, it's become the Japanese version of go. It's hilak. So if I'm doing the uh, search, it should be kensak. Yeah. It's, so you have this internationalization for. Uh, uh, no, you have the translation for each word uh, built in, so it's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, so this is the uh, enter key hint. It is hint. It is a hint because uh, a different operating system, different OS might have different wording for each other, right? So it's just a hint. It's mandatory that if you if you must show what kind of uh, uh, the text, so it's just a hint. Mm -hmm. And you can change it by JavaScript. Uh huh. Yep. So this is it. Pretty simple, huh? Okay. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye bye.